Dear brothers and sisters, as part of our catechesis for this year of faith, it is fitting during these last days of Advent to consider the face of Mary, the Virgin Mother of Christ. At the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel greets Mary with an invitation to rejoice because the Lord is with her. This joy is set of the messianic hope of God's people, the daughter of Zion, now being fulfilled in her. It is also the fruit of the grace which fills Mary's heart and shapes her obedience to God's word. Mary's face, like that of Abraham, combines complete trust in the Lord's promises with a certain unknowing. In her life, Mary knew, as we do, that God's will can seem at times obscure and far from our expectations. It involves embracing the mystery of the cross. It is significant that the sensation of Mary ponders in her heart the meaning of the angel's message. Her example reminds us that faith, with fully obedience to the Lord's will, also must seek daily to discern, understand, and accept that will. In this holy season, may our Lord's prayers help us, our Lady's prayers help us, to grow in a humble, trusting faith, which will open the door to God's grace in our hearts and in our world. I offer a warm welcome to Japanese pilgrims from the Diocese of Kagoshima. My cordial greeting also goes to the Nigerian Christian Pilgrim Commission. Upon all the English-speaking pilgrims present in this audience, and invoke God's blessings for a happy and holy celebration of the coming feast of Christmas. Thank you. Sit nomen Domini Benedictum. Et sac nunca usque in saeculo. Adjutorium nostrum in nomine Domini. Qui fecit celum et terra. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. 